Good morning, good morning everyone. Welcome back to another video. It's another beautiful day out here in Cincinnati and we are out here gonna hit some thrift stores, gonna find some stuff to flip online for a profit. Just pulled up to our first store, Salvation Army. Let's see what we get. Check it out, just had our first little find here. Got an Eddie Bauer First Ascent women's down jacket. And if we look down here on the sleeve, like I always tell you to, you can see it's a storm down, 800 fill. 800's a decent little fill amount. It goes from 500 to 900. The higher the number, the better. This one right here will go between 40 and 50 bucks. Gonna be paying 6.99, not bad. Check it out over here in the women's jacket. It's got a Harley Davidson hoodie. It's gonna be five bucks today. It's got the big HD on the back. That's an easy 20 to 30 bucks right there. Oh, maybe not. It's missing the zipper pull right there. You can see it's broken off. So unfortunately, I'm gonna leave that one. Always gotta check this stuff. Don't wanna bring home something stained or broken. That's when you lose money. Sheesh, talk about fire. Look at that. You'd be the coolest kid on the playground rocking that. The Stegosaurus sweatshirt? <laughs> Too bad it's a small. Otherwise, I'd rock that. They got the music cranking in this store. Hopefully I don't have to voice over all this stuff. All right, over here in the button fronts, just came across a Hawaiian shirt. It's by Rain Spooner. And I normally don't pick up Hawaiian shirts, but that is a good designer brand to look for. Typically the Hawaiian shirts by him go for around 25 bucks. So I'm gonna snag it at five. Check that out, little bread and butter piece right there, L.L. Bean flannel. Flannels go for right around 25 bucks for L.L. Bean, so that's not bad. Just make sure all the buttons are there, they are. Buttons down the chest, they're there. Five bucks is what we're gonna pay. Like I said, 20, 25 bucks. What's this one right behind it? Chaps, we'll leave the chaps, but take the L.L. Bean. And right as we're about to leave this aisle right here, near the end got the nike ohio state jersey six dollars today and nike stuff from ohio state sells for me pretty dang well especially if i local sell this i can probably pull 20 to 30 bucks out of that pretty dang easy so it's a snag okay i think i'm good with what i got let's check out and move on Real quick, before we go on to that next store, I just want to answer a common question that I get all the time, and that's how often do I go thrifting and how long do I go thrifting for? And to be honest, it kind of just varies. It depends on how I'm feeling that day. I don't have like a set schedule as to I need to go thrifting on like Monday and Wednesday or something like that. I just kind of go whenever I feel like it. It's usually like two to three times a week. And then when I'm in the stores, it can range anywhere from like 10 minutes into a store into an hour into a store. It just really depends on how I'm feeling that day. So today at that stop right there I spent about 20 minutes at the store and then I also want to tell you guys that I stop at thrift stores pretty much whenever I have the opportunity to if I'm out driving around or going to the grocery store or running to the bank stuff like that I stop in at the thrift stores because it just increases my chances of finding stuff because the more often that you put yourself in the situation to find stuff the more often you're gonna find stuff so that's kind of my strategy to things I don't really have a set schedule I just kind of go with the flow and go whenever I feel feel like it. Now I'm not saying that's the right way to do it or that's how you should do it. It really depends on your personal schedule and your personal area you're in. Here at my stores, I have a bunch of stores around me so I can hit thrift stores no matter what side of town I'm on. There's pretty much always a thrift store within like a 10 minute drive of me. And on top of that, my thrift stores don't really have like a schedule as to when they put stuff out or get new shipments in. They're just always putting out stuff constantly onto the floor. So there's always going to be a fresh influx of inventory. So I don't really need to worry about that at my personal stores. But let me know down in the comments, how often do you guys go thrifting and how long do you stay in the stores when you do? I'm kind of curious to see how my stuff compares to yours. Anyways, let's go ahead and go on to the next store. All right, store numero dos, Goodwill. So I was just looking down the jeans over here and ended up coming across a pair of Levi's 514 jeans. These are brand new with the tags, as you can see right there. 514, as it says on the back. I don't pick up a ton of Levi's. However, when they're brand new, they're gonna be fast sellers. So I'm gonna go ahead and snag this at eight bucks and turn it into an easy 40. Oh, wait, what's that I spy? You see that right there? Say barber? I think it does. Look at that. That is a barber jacket. That's a kid's barber jacket. I normally don't pick up kid's stuff, but I'll take Barber all day. That's a fantastic brand. If you don't know it, learn it right now. This brand is hot. This is probably, I don't know what kid's jackets go for. I'm gonna guess like 50 bucks. If this was an adult jacket though, it'd be close to 100. 
we'll snag it either way. That one's gonna cost us eight bucks. Not bad, not bad. Might have to check out, see what some of these other kids' jackets are after that. Look at that, look at that. A North Face Summit Series kids' jacket, just one rack over. Summit Series is a fantastic little section of North Face to look for. It's got the patch on the sleeve, North Face, Gore-Tex down on that sleeve. We're gonna be paying eight bucks for it. Not bad, the kids' section coming in clutch. Looks like we need to grab a cart. <laughs> So over here, I just found this little Stetson mug, and I thought, you know what, I'll show you guys how I look up stuff. So we just go to our eBay app right here. Up top, we're gonna type in Stetson mug. Go to our filters, condition used, and then scroll down, and then go to sold, switch on our solds, and then we can see that mug right there is the same one we got right there. That one sold for five bucks plus ten dollars shipping. That's gonna be a pass for us, but Stetson is definitely something to look out for. Check it out over here in the jackets. Just came across a Beretta vest. This is an insulated one. You can see on the inside it says Thermore down in there. That is probably at least a $40 vest. Last time I sold a Beretta, I think it was more around the $50 mark, but $40 conservatively, probably a little bit more on that. So we're gonna snag it at eight bucks. Check it out, going down the jacket still. This is the women's section. Got an L.L. Bean women's Sherpa Lines corduroy jacket. That is a nice little piece right there. Gonna be paying $7.99. And I believe these go for right around 50 bucks. So that is definitely coming home with us. Get in that cart. Just made a really nice find here. Still over here in the women's jackets. Found a Patagonia parka. You can see a Patagonia on the inside. That parka is a nice score. It's probably priced up a little bit, I would imagine. Yeah, 18 bucks on this one. Still not a bad price at all for that one. That's definitely coming home with us. All right, I'm pretty happy with everything that we got at this store. Time to check out and move on. All right, I gotta say, that was a very, very good stop right there. Those hauls are the ones that I love getting. We ended up getting some men's stuff, some women's stuff, and even some kids' stuff, which I normally don't even look at, but we ended up getting two kids' jackets. So overall, really happy with how that haul went. I might end up going to one more store. I'm not really sure yet. I've got some personal stuff to take care of, but if I have time, I'll hit up one more store. If not, we'll cut to the sold comps. Either way, I'll see you in just a second. All right, ended up having some extra time, decided to come up to thrift store number three, St. Vincent de Paul. Let's go. Check those out. Who remembers these? These little Pokemon dog tags. We got Charizard, Venonat, Mewtwo, Rapidash, Golduck. Man, this is a throwback and a half. That's pretty cool. Probably not worth anything though. Still cool to see. What's over here in the uh, appliance aisle here? I don't do a ton of appliances. Some other resellers do really, really well with them, but it's just not my favorite thing to sell. It has to be like a really special thing for me to, to pick it up. Otherwise, I just don't want to deal with it. But there's some good money in parting out some of this stuff. Just not the kind of reselling that I like to do. I don't see anything catching my eyes in the toys and board games either, unfortunately. This is probably all picked through because of Christmas and stuff, but I was hoping to find something other than clothing today. <laughs> And that's something you guys might notice. I've been picking up a lot more clothing lately and that's pretty typical as the winter months start coming around. I start focusing more on thrift stores and the thrift stores around me have a ton of clothing so that's what I buy. Which is also one of the main reasons that I learned clothing in the first place because it wasn't something that I necessarily had a ton of interest in but now it's one of my most and best selling things that I sell in my store period and that's because I learned it out of necessity because it's in abundance at my stores which is something that I definitely recommend you guys looking into. See what your stores have have available and adapt to your environment. When I say I knew nothing about clothing, I mean I knew nothing at all about clothing or style because, I mean, look at me, I don't have the best style. But now, I, I don't want to call myself an expert, but I do do a lot of clothing. And speaking of clothing, we got our first piece of this store, Denim Supply Ralph Lauren. I don't pick up a ton of Ralph Lauren stuff anymore. This one's gonna be five bucks though, but Denim and Supply is the kind that you wanna look for. This one's a nice denim piece, and it's got the pearl snaps on the front. This will probably be over 30 bucks, and again, only paying five. Well, hello there, Burberry's button front shirt. We really are finding all kinds of goodies today. Five bucks on that, that is a for sure pickup. Buttons look good, everything looks good in there. Not seeing any stains front or back. That's a nice grab right there and that tag looks good. I'm pretty sure that's a legit tag. Heck yeah. What can I say, when we're hot, we're hot. That is a great little score right there. It's been a nice little clothing day for us. 
What do we have up here? Some Air Maxes. Not bad. How much? 20 bucks. Unfortunately, a little high for those. Those are probably 30 to 40 bucks, but still, they're in really nice shape. So I was just walking past the belts here, and this one caught my eye just because it's really, really nicely well made. It's got some nice embroidery on it. I don't recognize the name though. It's Loopy, L-U-P-P-I. However, sometimes you just gotta buy stuff based on how they look. That is really well made and has a nice look to it. I think I'm gonna go ahead and snag it because I think that is the style of something that would sell really well. With certain items, it's just about the style of the item. It's not necessarily the name brand that'll sell it. It's how it looks and that piece right there has the look. All right, another nice little batch of stuff right there. Three items, all pretty dang good ones as well. I am completely satisfied with how today went. And now I don't plan on going to any more thrift stores, so here is what everything that I picked up today should that sell for. Good. So like you guys just saw, those comps look pretty dang good. It was a very solid day out here. I wasn't out too long thrifting today, so for the amount of time I spent out here, I'm really happy with the quality of stuff that we got. Unfortunately, no hard goods, but hey, sometimes that just happens. Anyways, that's gonna wrap things up for me today. Down in the comments, let me know a recent thrift store pickup that you had, and while you're down there, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more content just like this. Otherwise, happy holidays, and I will see you in the next one. Till next time, keep on treasure hunting. Peace.